Hello everyone, my name is James Hillier. I am an Olympic medal winning athletics coach. I'm currently working as the head coach of the Reliance Foundation Odisha Athletics High Performance Centre. Today, I'm going to be talking about long-term athlete development and the athlete's career, right through from the active child stage through to fit for life. What is success? Success can be viewed in two distinct ways. Winning, which is an outcome focused goal. Uh, achieving personal goals, which is a process or intrinsic goal. Athletics, unlike some other sports, is a late specialization sport. It has been shown that athletes often reach peak performance around the ages of 25 to 26 years old. Therefore, it's really important when we are developing athletes that they stay healthy and enthused and are able to carry on the sport and their training way into their 20s in order that they can fulfill their potential. It is often considered that an athletics career should be organized in key distinct stages. These stages are defined from the knowledge of children's development and each stage has clear and precise objectives. I have broken the long-term athlete development model into seven distinct stages. The first stage is the active child stage and this is for athletes or children aged between 0 and 6 years old. The three key things to focus on in this stage are to promote multiple daily physical activity sessions, to allow the child to discover and explore his or her environment and to re reward the creativity. We also want to see the child roll, turn and start to run, jump and throw. The second stage is the have fun stage. This takes place between the ages of six to nine. We want to promote moving and physical activity as fun. We want to promote general development and cognitive learning and we want to use fun games to teach basic elements of athletics. The three core components of athletics are run, jump and throw. Therefore we want to design our games so they incorporate these three key physical attributes. The third stage is the learning to train stage. This happens between the ages of nine to 12. In this stage, we want to develop general sport skills using a multi-sport approach. Therefore, we want to encourage our young athletes to play many different sports. We want to start teaching them basic warm-ups and start to condition the body for flexibility and coordination work. At this stage, we can start to talent identify the best athletes. Stage four is the training to train stage. This occurs between the ages of 12 to 16. During this stage, we want to develop the key specific skills for all sports. We want to introduce appropriate load weight training, which during these years might be body weight or light weights in the gym, specifically learning the technique of weightlifting before we load the bar too heavy. 
At this stage, we can start to talent select our athletes into high performance academies, high performance centers, and we can start to expose our athletes to individual training. Stage five is the training to compete stage. This occurs between the age, ages of 16 to 23 years. At this stage, we now want to develop specific physical qualities needed for the chosen sport, or if it, we're talking about athletics, the chosen event. The athletes have to now learn how to compete and all the factors that go along with competition, such as dealing with pressure, learning how to win, and learning how to lose. At this stage, we're going to start to specialize the training of the athlete. Stage six is the high performance stage. This happens normally from 23 years and above. In this stage, we want to now maximize the specific physical qualities that the athletes have been developing, hopefully all of their lives. We now want to get performance in key competitions. And it's at this stage that we want to truly maximize the genetic potential of our athletes. The final stage is the fit for life stage. This happens once the athlete has finished competitive sport and will hopefully go on right through till the end of their lives. The three things that we want to see here is the athlete now transitioning from performance sport into keeping fit and healthy for the rest of their lives. We want the athlete to now enjoy sport and get fulfilled from sport. And sport playing a key role of a healthy daily, weekly, monthly and yearly routine. In case you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.